Hi everybody, I am coming back to share. I got a um, package in the mail. <clears throat> it actually came in a uh, day before yesterday and it's a, um, it's my Christmas present from Angie, Christmas in October. <laughs> she always sends my Christmas presents in October. So um, I did want to come and share this with you guys. Um, it's a uh, Christmas themed traveler's notebook insert. So um, I wanted to come in and show you guys what she created here. I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful. So I've already cut open the box and um, let's go ahead and go on in. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I've been really, really busy as usual. Uh, just, you know, working on my shop and working at my job and just, you know, just staying busy. But um, life is good when you're busy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? She's got all kinds of stuff in here. Ah! <laughs> More goodies down at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to move the box out of the way. And we will just put the book down. Um, oh my God, that thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That flower. So this just opens up. There's the traveler's notebook in there. Oh my god. Look at that, you guys. What a gorgeous, gorgeous way to house that traveler's notebook. Oh my goodness. Look at that huge wallet size bag she created or wallet style bag she created for the traveler's notebook oh, she just used a doily it looks like she lined it with this gorgeous linen here vintage linen oh my gosh can you see the flower that's on the inside of that and she's put some lace there. And then there's another doily that just flaps over. Oh my god. That little tag, the little charm. She's got some sari and one of her beautiful handmade flowers. And then some more lace up on top. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then here's the traveler's notebook. All nice and chunky. Let's see what we have here. Credits and thank yous to read on camera. Just move this off here. So there's, she's again has used tons of items from the shop, everybody. And I'll point those out as I go through the Traveler's Notebook. Um, this is one of them. We've got the airmail envelopes that we carry in the shop. And then again, a trifold time card here. And she's just got some fabric layered up there with a little bulb pin from the store and then some little charms. Little snap button. Oh. <laughs> she sewed this little pocket on, stamped it with Christmas blessings. 
And it looks like she's written the letter on one of the green ledger sheets. Oh, that's the back. All right. Credits for inspiration for Denise's Christmas Traveler's Notebook are uh, Denise and a Tattered Dream on Etsy. If you haven't already done so, please check out Denise's shop. She carries the most awesome and fun items for making junk journals and offers unmatched customer service that is fast and friendly. Denise, you are one of the few people out there these days who are sweet, sincere, authentic, unwavering, and I am so proud to call you my friend. Ah, oh, girlfriend! Also, Chrissy, Karen, Paula, Kirsty, Nazi, Fiona, Allie, Lala, and Beth. And thanks also to Beth for the new ledger sheet. And thank you, Rhonda Lee, for the original vintage ledger sheet. Thank you, Yvonne, for making a tutorial on the three-hole pamphlet stitch. Yvonne and Beth, please know that the two of you and Denise are the reason I started going junk journal crazy two years ago and I cannot stop. LOL. P.S. Denise always combines shipping, so no worries. You guys, I do always combine shipping on my um, on your orders in the shop. So I know that initially the shipping always looks a little crazy, but I promise you I always combine shipping and then with you know, regard to the packaging costs, which are pretty minimal, um, usually anywhere from one to two dollars, I always refund your overages. So um, please, when you come by the shop, don't get spooked off by the shipping. I always refund it. So if you guys ever have any questions, of course, you can always message me um, through Etsy with your concerns as well. Oh, Angie, thank you so much, girlfriend. Oh, gosh. Oh, on to this lovely book. Let's see here. So this just unties. I cannot get over this bag. Oh my God. Beautiful. Oh, there's a little tag. How cute is that? She's just stamped it with some script on the back. Vintage laces. That beautiful image there of that little girl with her cute little St. Bernard, or huge St. Bernard, it's not little, I guess. Oh, how beautiful. So look, she's got, she just bound it with this doily and then put a couple of little ties on the end just to kind of hold it closed. How cool. Oh my goodness. Ah, look, 25. I'm guessing that's for the 25th of December. Oh my goodness. Look at the little jingle bell. Okay, you guys. You know what? I'm going to pause the video and just bring the camera down. Hold on one moment. Okay. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. It's pretty, pretty little. I'm already getting all tongue tied. I'm all excited. <laughs> There's pretty little printables here. Then she's got one of the little flashcards from the, st from the store. These are the, the French flashcards. And then she's got another tag in here. Oh gosh, she's used that really pretty handmade paper. And she's just stitched that image on the front to attach some lace and some little doily snippets there along the side with some more um, fabric and a vintage button there. And then she's also stamped it with a little bit of light script stamps. There's just some vintage ledger sheet that she also stamped with some of the corrugated cardboard lines on the back. 1883. Ah, oh, it's 
so beautiful. That goes behind. Wow. She's got this really pretty little pendant charm there. Little tag hanging off of the little bulb pins from the store. And she's got this beautiful fabric flip up. There's one of the little micro glassing bags from the shop. Vintage button card. And some more of those pretty printables. I recognize these. I have these as well. These are from Nostalgic Graphic Land, you guys, if you guys want to go and buy those. She's got the coolest printables at her site. Pretty, pretty stuff. And then there's another item from the shop, the Rolodex cards. So and she just stamped that with Believe. Oh, goodness. Look at how beautiful that is. Uh, here's one of the large craft merchandise bags. She just folded the top over. And then it looks like she just layered some music note paper and just glued it around the ends to create another little tuck spot there. And then she's got this beautiful image here that she stitched all the way around. Lots of sewing, it looks like. And then again, she did some, just some real light stamping there. Oh my gosh. She's got that beautiful pattern. Um, sewing pattern paper, a little bit of cheesecloth there. Another pretty image. Oh, this is one of my envelopes that I love to death. <laughs> She's the one that originally turned me on to these, you guys. I love, love, love these. And I actually um, just recently started carrying these in the shop maybe about, oh, I don't know, three weeks to a month ago. Um, so super fun. I love these envelopes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then she's got another one of the um, vintage ledger sheets from the store. These are the white ones. They come in white and green. The green one was the, the one that she used to write the, the letter on. Oh my goodness. So you see there's lots of blank space for journaling and you know you've got your journaling inserts as well um you know you can journal on the bag lots of space everybody i know a lot of people think these are just looky loo books but <laughs> there's plenty of space to write and and just you know tuck photos and all that good stuff Oh, gosh. Look at that. There's a little girl with St. Bernard again. I love that image. She's just got it back with some more sewing pattern paper and cheesecloth. Some more doily snippets down on the bottom. A little flower. Oh, look what she did with the, um, the metal rim tags from the shop. Oh, that's cool. I love that, Angie. So she just, um, adhered one of the Tim Holtz tags and it says Merry Christmas. She just backed it with a little bit of cheesecloth and attached it with a bulb pin from the shop. Creative. Here 
it's just a little flip book. Look how cute she is with her dolly. Oh, it's just got some vintage ledger paper from 1944. A little bit of graph paper. See, lots of place for journaling and notes. Got all that empty space there. Again here, you can place photos here. Look at that a little snow or um, not a snowball, <laughs> Christmas bell. Oh my gosh! And then she's got one of the rusty pins from the shop. Oh my goodness! Just gorgeous. Oh, she's made an envelope out of the five inch square doilies. Just topped it off with some of the crochet doily there. And then that little brad, the number brads from Tim Holtz. And she's got a little journaling card on the inside of that. Sweet. There's some vintage music note paper. The Little Gray Church from 1920. Hmm. Wow. You guys, she's used all vintage laces throughout. There's not any new laces in here. Some of the guest checks from the shop. You can flip that up and do some more journaling there. Journal on top of it. It's one of the little midget glassine bags that she's just topped with that really pretty image there. It's just a little piece from a vintage ledger sheet. I'm guessing this might be the one that... Um, that Rhonda gifted to her. It's from 1934. December 31st, 1935, 1936. Oh my gosh, how fun! There's some more of that same ledger sheet. It looks like she just cut it in half put the other side here and she just folded it over to create a little tuck spot studebaker oh south bend in indiana <laughs> i think she said that her husband's grandfather used to work for studebaker i think that's what she told me in a conversation we had how cool. Some more vintage ledger sheet. My gosh, I'm already at 18 minutes. This is going to definitely turn into a two-parter. Imagine that. <laughs> uh, and she's stamped some um, journaling lines on the back of there as well. Looks like this is from... Is that March 22nd, 1880? Oh, so cool. There's another little tuck spot here. This is just a flip out. This must be the ledger sheet that she got from Beth. I recognize this from Beth's journals. That little image there with all the little girls underneath the Christmas tree with all their dollies. Oh my gosh. There's another little tuck spot here. Oh look, she created a tuck out of the glassine envelope. This is the larger glassine envelope from the shop. And then she's just stapled half of one of the vintage tickets. 
And then inside she's just got a few more journaling spots, journaling cards. Warm winter wishes. And all that glitters is snow. <laughs> oh. How beautiful. Oh, this is one of her Nazi inspired um, collage tags, her fabric collage tags. Didn't that turn out beautiful? Look at the flowers that are embroidered on there. And then she backed it with some, I don't know, like some kind of quilted padding. So it's like puffy. Oh, I love that. That turned out awesome, Angie. She's just got everything all stitched on. And then she did a little bit of light script stamping there. Wow. Oh, look how cute is she? Look at those eyes. They're huge. Big old chubby cheeks. She is precious. Oh, <clears throat> she just added one of those Tim Holtz metal clips with a little snippet of doily, crochet doily there. And then again, she's back that image with some coffee stained paper that she just did some light script stamping. So you can write a little bit, do a little journaling there. Oh, she is darling. She used a fabric doily here to create a tuck. Wow. And she's got this vintage postcard. 1911. And she's just stitched all the way around it. Oh, she backed it with a index card and created a tuck for another journaling tag. Let's just top that off with some more of that tassel trim. This is coming to the shop soon, you guys. I just haven't added it yet. Wow. Isn't this beautiful, everybody? So gorgeous. She just topped the other half of that large um, white craft merchandise bag off with a um, one of the four inch doilies from the store. Then another image of the little girl next to the Christmas tree with all her dolls. Wow. Oh, she's altered one of the merchandise tags from the shops. So these come in pink and white. Here's the white one here. And again, she's just kind of offset an image of a couple of little girls with their dolls, their little Christmas gifts, and some of this linen fabric square there. You can jot down a couple of notes there on the back of that. Oh my gosh. So many wonderful ideas, you guys, in here. Here's one of the Dewey Decimal cards, the card catalog cards from, or library card catalogs from the shop. And then she's just got some vintage book page here from, um, looks like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. 1958. And then another little journaling sheet here. Another rusted pin from the store and some of her sari silk ribbon.
Oh, this is one of the layaway tags. It looked like a library pocket at first. Look, she kind of turned it into a little pocket here. She just folded up the top half, stitched the sides, put one of those cool little Tim Holtz tags and topped it with a button and some cheesecloth. Stamped it there. Oh, how fun is that? And then she stuck this little um, glassine envelope from the store right inside. And it's just got another little journaling tag in there. It's got that beautiful image there. Oh, how fun. Angie, your work is phenomenal, girlfriend. I am so, so lucky to have so many of your creations. Oh my God, I made it to the end of this book. Without having to do a second part, can you guys believe that? Oh my goodness. This is the last page. So she, watch me get cut off now. <laughs> She's got this little flip up here, with the um, old little town of Bethlehem, and then Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Look at that image of that little boy trying to carry that big Christmas tree. <laughs> She's stamped some journaling lines in there. She's got this gorgeous flip up here. And again, another of the little French flash cards from the shop. And another one of these printables. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. Just got a little tag where she just stapled Santa on there and a little lock. She just used one of the bulb pins from the shop to attach that there. And then here, what does she have here? Here we've got... Nine plus three equals 12 for the 12 days of Christmas. On day one, let's see, bake cookies and deliver to a neighbor. Day two, drive around your neighborhood and look at Christmas lights. Day three, read Luke chapter two, verses one through 20. Day four, do a random act of kindness. Five, watch old family videos and home movies. Six, make a homemade Christmas gift. Seven, have a pajama day. <laughs> Eight, listen to old Bing Crosby Christmas songs. Nine, donate to a toy drive. Ten, watch a Charlie Brown Christmas. Eleven,